Hi guys, so in this video I want to share with you some uh, clips that I made of really amazing succulent and cactus collections. So before I came back to the United States, I contacted the president of Succulent and Cactus Society in Serbia and he was so nice that he invited me to see his collection and I enjoyed so much talking to him. He was so informative that I'm hoping I'm gonna make some more videos with him. And he actually sent me home with a few little gifts. And I hope you're gonna enjoy videos that I made while I was there. This one, uh, usually uh, grow like that in the, in the nature. They, they, they grow a little bit, they uh, go up, and then when they uh, get heavy, they get down and like, like, uh, like a, snake. a snake, yeah. yes. <laughs> but we usually don't like this uh, in, 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 in green houses. There's always a lack of space. Right. So, <laughs> so we usually try to cut it and put it uh, upstairs, uh, and that's why this one, this one was uh, like uh, one branch. But I cut it, and they put the uh, sixth one. Uh, I really like this. I have never seen it. The colors are really so unique, like with white, with a little mm -hmm. bit of that copper color. It's uh, mamelaria gorgeous. Bombicina. This one is very nice. This smaller one. Oh, I have not seen that one before, yeah. And it's also copper color. Yes. Mm. These are just so, so pretty. Yeah. We see these in U.S. Golden barrel. Yes, I grow them from the seed. And this How one, this, this, the bigger one. <coughs> Almost 10 years from this ten big years. one. Yes. But there is this one that looks like rain. It's cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, very, very nice. And there's these old man, right? And mm -hmm. old woman cactuses. <laughs> <laughs> this one is interesting. It's a uh, cristata form. It's uh, like blue, we, we call it here blue candle. It's a uh, um, Myrtillo cactus geometry. It's uh, very nice uh, for grafting. Um, wow, look at how big these guys are. Mm, yes. Wow. It's really these cool. are almost uh, uh, 20 years, this fruit. Wow. It's very slow growing and they start to flowering after 15 years, mm -hmm. first time. But this, uh, the, the other species are not uh, so slow grow, glow, glow, glow and, uh, grower and they start to flower earlier, mm. uh, after three to four years. Oh, this one is, is normal form of uh, Myrtillo cactus. Oh, or yeah, or yeah, blue, ca blue that candle, that one. Yes, this, this one is nice. very, uh, very, o very often, but that, that form uh, is, uh, is rare. Mm. Oh, this is cool. Really yes, uh, it, its name is penis plant. Yeah, but it's probably it's uh, a little dehydrated. Yes. <laughs> right? So... Oh, you have euphorbias, bionces, mm -hmm. right? It, I have the same one. Those are cool. Yes, very nice. Oh, I think I caught something <laughs> <laughs> on the back <laughs> there. These are so cool. So how old are these guys? Mm, I'm not sure, maybe... Well, almost Look 10 years. Look at how many of them. Yes. These are with the uh, known lo locality on the uh, mm -hmm. collection. I made lots <gasps> of seeds. You have Optica Rubra? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, yeah, so, but it's also slow growing. But this one is also uh, very nice. This uh, yellow form. Oh, yeah. Albini flora. Oh gosh, these colors are beautiful. Is this the Rotea? Mine is a little bit different color, so maybe well, it's not. That, uh, with Detox you have a problem we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Oh, they uh, the cross breeding, cross breeding yeah. and uh, you, you're never sure uh, what you have. Also, uh, in nature they are more variable. Mm -hmm. uh, one species is very, is very variable, so you, uh, from locality to locality you have different, you, you can see different, you, it looks like different species. Okay, uh, and you know where you are depending on Yes, that, that, yeah. that's the, very, the big problem with, with Litops, uh, if, if you want to know what you ha really care. Mm -hmm. So, uh, these are uh, from uh, uh, one man from Belgium, that, uh, that, that guy spent uh, more than half of his life in, in South Africa. And they know probably each locality, wherever, wherever the. These, these are amazing. This is growing. amazing collection. All of them look like they yes, have no health one issues. Of the best in uh, not only Serbia but. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, oh, look at that beauty. Where has Litops? Haven't seen Litops quite like
Yes, I, I buy some seeds from Mesa Garden from New Mexico. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest seller of, uh, of se seeds in, in the USA. And it's quite good. Uh, uh, Steven Breck, I think it's, it's his, uh, his name. It's, ve it's very, very nice. Very old. <laughs> uh, with cacti, uh, they are more uh, easier. You, you, mm -hmm. uh, during the winter, they don't need anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. But with the other succulents, you, you must uh, uh, get them a little water or, and a little higher temperature so, and little light. Oh, and wow, this one is uh, so cool looking. Yes, it's, uh, and it's soft. Yes, that's uh, that Japanese uh, cultivar. Mm. Uh, and this one is such a weirdo. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So that's, weird. That's a pretty rare. Form. Yeah, I just want to say I have never seen that one before. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never seen that one. Yeah, I know. This <laughs> is like just a like a bowl. There's yes, it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, Lophophora, but not Williamsi. Uh, uh, it's mm -hmm. diffusa. Uh, it's peyote, peyotero, I don't know the right, the right name, but, uh, the Mexican Indians use mm -hmm. it in some, uh, they, uh, some ceremonies uh, okay. because they, they contain uh, mescaline, uh, it's a technicolor, uh, they call it a technicolor uh, drug mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's forbidden uh, to use it in Europe. Here uh, you Gorgeous. can find uh, more uh, species of succulent plants in the in the in the autumn uh, because uh, during the winter they mm -hmm. uh, they go uh, very bad. They look very bad, and uh, they need uh, more time to re recover uh, than the cacti plants. So usually uh, or, uh, after June you can find uh, more uh, succulent plants mm -hmm. here. Wow, these are beautiful. You have some pink ones, then you have this Echeveria gavoides. This yes. one, I don't know what it is. It's really some pretty. Some kind of sedum, I don't know yeah. which, which species. Very pretty but color. This one is also, but it's now it looks very bad, but it's very, very, it's very nice plants also. Mm -hmm. yeah, it Echeveria, like Echeveria uh, laui, mm -hmm. and this is Lilacina. Wow. This, is, uh, this, is, this one is slow growing, and, uh, and uh, the usual, usually fungus uh, attack them. Uh, so it's very mm -hmm. uh, it's very hard to to grow big plants. This uh, this plants I get from my friend from Uruguay. This crassula came from Uruguay. It's very nice. Oh wow! I, I had never seen that. Very interesting. Yes. And also this one, but mm -hmm. it's too small. Barkley. Oh, I know Barkley. Mm -hmm. You know, I ordered this one this winter, mm -hmm. and the seller from California told me the rats ate the Barkley. <laughs> that was his message. <laughs> so yes, the mouse, I didn't get it this during, year. During, during the one, uh, during uh, a few years ago, during the winter, uh, the mouses uh, eat. Uh, 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 like uh, about 20, but not succulents, uh, uh, cacti. I don't know how they mm. go to the needles and uh, to, to the spines, but uh, they they eat a whole uh, about 20, 20 cacti. They, they pick their I'm teeth with the spines. <laughs> <laughs> I find one, or, uh, about, but it, it, it must be more than one. Okay. Uh, oh, these Buddha temples are just so cute. <laughs> ah. Also, this crassel is very nice. Oh, wow. Uh, I haven't seen that one before. This looks uh, like some kind of hybrid. It's very uh, yes, probably. I, uh, I'm mm. not sure. I think it's. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's from uh, South Africa, but I don't. I, I forgot the name. I, there's mm. too many plants, so yeah. at least can't take everything in my head. And I see you have a lot of euphorbias over there. Yes, the I, I like them very much. And then uh, more havortias uh, over there. Yes. This Havortia here, even though I'm not a fan of Havortias, I think it's really cool looking because mm, it reminds yes. me to Crassulas. <laughs> I like the stacked up formation of plants, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And this one, uh, this one, and this one are uh, Astrolobus. You mm. know, it's, uh, it's a cousin, very similar to Havortia and Gasteria, something between. Uh, it's so sad <laughs> that I, where I live, I don't have any close society. Um, uh, yes, or it, swap it, meetings it, it, uh, or anything. It's very, so. it's very uh, good if you have uh, some uh, people that uh, you can exchange your experience mm -hmm. and plants and mm -hmm. it helps a lot. Uh, really, mm -hmm. we have society here in Serbia uh, more than twenty years. Oh, wow. uh, at, uh, 
20 years ago it was not so easy to find the plants and uh, but now it's it's not so big problem but uh, you all uh, when you when you read on the internet uh, on the nets uh, uh, some advices you will you will find a lot of uh, false uh, mm -hmm. advices and a lot sure. of false uh, naming of plants and uh, it's I, I prefer to to talk and to sure. uh, to exchange mm -hmm. These are such I a see, beardos here. I see, I see <laughs> this, this one is... Oh, I that's the, um, But, you know, we, you see. Oh, yeah. Is it mealybugs? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw that on this tree. Constant battle with them. That's they yes, come and go. constantly. I, uh, I, during the winter, I spray them with, uh, with some uh, pesticide, but I have to do more, I suppose. Mm -hmm. really this pretty. is Melocacti. I think this, you probably know this with, uh, with this uh, heads above with Tefalus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a smaller one. Hmm. Wow, these look amazing with those colors there. There's some Tefrocacti, Darwini, and some other Tefrocacti. And this weird one here? Yes, Tephrocactus mulinensis. Also? Slow growing, but uh, not uh, not too complicated to 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 grow them. But slow. Growing. Some well, succulents. This, uh, this succulents is waiting to be separated uh, and to for be prepared propagation for uh, yes, sale. Hmm. For for mm -hmm. mm, cool. I think I bought this one from you last year. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's called uh, Chiveria Takagai something. Yes, it's the uh, same kind of. Hybrid. I don't, it it sure. grew quite a bit, so yeah, it's it, doing uh, good. This is the first time this plant uh, flowering to me. Oh. It's uh, Claisto cactus, but not uh, the white one. I, I have I, the white one. Ah, yes. And uh, the, the flowers are similar, like, like yeah, fingers. Yeah, it has a lot of blooms. <laughs> yes. Just getting ready. But, but, but small plant. Gotta record these. These are just so amazing here. Oh, I saw that. So here are a few things that I came back with uh, from a visit with President of Succulent and Cactus Society in Belgrade. Um, I bought this um, astrophytum that's preparing to bloom for a dollar and a half and I already planted it in a white pot this one here that's pretty rare I don't think I have seen this kind before he gave me as a gift which was very generous um, then I told him that I love chrysoulas so he gave me a few cuttings one is this little uh, chrysoula pyramidalis cutting and then this one here I don't know the name of but I have seen it um, at Ted's Greenhouses, a uh, type of Prusula. Then this one here, I don't know what the name of is. Uh, I think it's really cool looking. I would probably be headed and because it's a little bit uh, stretched here at the bottom. And from the sun, it seems to get a little bit of pinkish color. I don't know if you can see it. And then here I have a really interesting chrysula that broke when I was uh, traveling. So it was like this and the little bottom has a little cutting, has a little root. Uh, so hopefully this top will root as well. And then here I have just a little string of variegated string of pearls. I hope you can see some pink color. It uh, looks really cute and I hope it roots. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, see you in the next video.